Welcome, everybody. I wish you a very good morning. We really lucked out with the weather this year. The sun came out, it's warming up, and it's a beautiful day to plant a tree. Welcome to the 2015 Arbor Tree Planting Ceremony, hosted by the City Marco Island Beautification Advisory Committee. My name is Linda Turner, and I'm a proud member of the Beautification Advisory Committee. I'd like to introduce Reverend Dr. Kyle Bennett, who will bless the tree. Let us pray. Most amazing God, we are taught that the earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed according to their kind, and trees bearing fruit in which is their seed, each according to its kind, and you saw that it was good. Inspire us to co-create with you in our planting, nurturing, and celebration of trees. Bless the planting of this golden trumpet as an act of kindness and optimism. Bless our gift to this community today and for future generations. Bless this day of opportunity as we seek to take a positive action to make our world a better place. For life is a celebration when we live amongst the trees. And thanksgiving for all the abundance of your creation, we honor your name as we celebrate all that is so very good. Amen. And God bless these wonderful two gentlemen holding the tree up. And now, would the veterans of foreign war uh, please present the colors? Uh, and right after that, we will start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Commander Gardner. Everyone, please join in. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Would the city manager, Mr. Roger Hernstadt, please come up and do the Arbor Day greeting. Good morning. Well, it was uh, approximately one year ago today um, as my first, not quite official act, because I actually didn't start the city manager until a couple of days later, but I was fortunate enough to be at last year's Arbor Day celebration, and I was just totally blown away by the uh, scale of the event and the level of community participation in the event, uh, the participation of the students, and of course, uh, everyone in the community. And it was just amazing, and I had known I made a uh, very good decision in deciding to come to Marco Island, and I'll forever be thankful of the counselors who decided to uh, bring me here. Um, the uh, Reverend, Reverend Bennett, um, in, in his invocation, he, um, he mentioned um, a part, of, part of the Bible, and he, he quoted from um, Genesis, and uh, I think that was very appropriate, and I hope um, you all appreciate that message. Uh, as for myself, um, while this is not necessarily tree or arbor day specific, I think it's a, a very important message uh, for all of us, uh, in particular for um, the children, so I wanted to share it with you today. Um, the source of these words are, are believed to be the Paradox Commandments by Kenneth M. Keith, and uh, it is rumored, although not confirmed, that um, these are the words that Mother Teresa had uh, at her bedside and, and she looked upon um, every day. And I know all of you know of her as someone who um, 
did beautiful things uh, and eventually became um, recognized by, by the Catholic Church for all her deeds that she did throughout her lifetime. So these are called Words to Live By, and I'd like to share them with you this morning. Uh, people are often unreasonable, irrational, and self-centered, but forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some unfaithful friends and some genuine enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and sincere, people may deceive you. Be honest and sincere anyway. What you spend years creating, others could destroy overnight. Create anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, some may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today will often be forgotten. Do good anyway. Give the best you have, and it will never be enough, but give your best anyway. So I'll, I'll, close, I'll close my welcoming comments with one um, tree-specific uh, quote that is um, the source of which is unknown, um, but it's a Chinese pro proverb, and it simply says, no shade tree, blame not the sun, but yourself. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and thank you very much for being here. Bravo. Thank you, Mr. Hermstadt, for that wonderful message. I'd like to acknowledge uh, the presence of uh, our city councilor, uh, Victor Rios, and uh, Mr. Joe Beatty, who's sitting here. Um, also, Marco Island City staff who are here, uh, Public Works Director Tim Pinter, uh, Alex uh, Galliana, our Parks and Rec Director, and his staff did a lot of work to set all this up. Greatly appreciate that and all your time and hard work. Welcome, Tommy Barfield Elementary Singers. It's a joy to have you back again this year. You're wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Westbury, and thank you for the wonderful musical director, Lisa Brerin. Welcome back, Marco Island Charter Middle School. Excellent performances. Thank you, Mrs. Marty Miller. And Mr. George Abinoda, the principal. And I thank very much the VFW and the Ameri uh, Post 6370, Com Commander Dave Gardner, and the American Legion Post 404, Commander Lee Rubenstein, for uh, joining us today in the ceremony. We thank Affordable Landscape Services for providing and planting this tree. And we really thank these two gentlemen who are still holding the tree. <laughs> Mr. Steve Reynolds, our sound engineer, thank you. And our videographer, thank you very much. All right. Right now, I will introduce to you Mrs. Susan Lagrada, she's the chairwoman for the uh, Beautification Advisory Committee for the last couple of years, and she's going to uh, give you a brief history about Arbor Day. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for having us today. Uh, the first recorded Arbor Day celebration occurred April 10, 1872, in Nebraska. The holiday was proposed by Julius Sterling Morton. He was a celebrated journalist who moved to the prairie lands of Nebraska with his family from Michigan. The Mortons, as well as other pioneers, missed seeing their trees from back home. To provide greenery, the Mortons planted trees, shrubs, and flowers around their home. J.S. Morton believed and preached in the benefits of trees. He encouraged his neighbor to plant trees and used his status as the editor of the Nebraska City News to spread the word. Since the landscape of Nebraska was a prairie land and a dust bowl. J.S. Morton realized the benefits of planting trees prevented erosion of soil, provided heat and cooking fuel for farmers as well as greening the landscape. On the first Arbor Day, over one million trees were planted with counties and individuals vying for a prize. School children paraded and sang songs in appreciation for, for nature. 
In 1885, Arbor Day became a legal ho holiday in the state of Nebraska. Other states followed suit, and by 1970, National Arbor Day was designated. While the history of Arbor Day has its roots in Nebraska, today this holiday continues to be celebrated nationally. Florida observes early in the year as, as it is ideal for planting, uh, it is ideal planting weather. We are fortunate to live in an environment where planting may be done all year round and we are able to enjoy the fruits of our labor almost daily. While planting the trees initially were to provide a landscape to the flatlands of Nebraska, the planting of trees on Marco Island served not only as an enhancement to the island, but, but as a refuge from the elements, they also provide an environment for wildlife to flourish as well as beautify the landscape. Today we are continuing the history of Arbor Day on Marco Island by planting trees and using wise environmental stewardship. For over 10 years, the Beautification Committee of the City of Marco Island has hosted Arbor Day on the third Friday of January. In the past, trees have been donated by the City of Marco Island, Affordable Landscaping, Island Garden Center, as well as other local nurseries. The trees have been planted from Jane Hitler Park to Calusa Park to Tommy Barfield School and Veterans Park, and now today at Mackle Park. Marco Island has been designated a tree city for five years in a row by the National Association of State Foresters. This island shares the designation with 3,400 other cities throughout the United States due to the best management practices and participation in events such as today showcasing the benefits of community trees. We thank everyone who is in attendance today for participating in this event, and thank you for taking part in the history of Arbor Day on Marco Island. A friend shared this saying with me that is sitting for today's celebration. Planting a garden is believing in tomorrow. Thank you for believing. Thank you, Susan. Trees by Joyce Kilmer, 1886 through 1918. I think that I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree, a tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray, a tree that may in summer wear a nest of robins in her hair. Poems are made by fools like me but only God can make a tree. Trees Around Us by Sadie Kovacevic and Summer Labute. The trees around us are beautiful. Like no other plants on the earth, trees help us the most. In summer, spring, winter, and fall, we love the colors of them all. You should love trees with all your heart, because, because that, that would be very smart.
Thank you very much. That was a very beautiful performance by all, and we really enjoyed it. You're a delight to the community. It really says what it's all about, too. It's a great message. Uh, Council Chairman Larry Sacher, would you please come up and uh, give the proclamation? Thank you, Linda, although I thought we were good friends, and it's a politician's worst nightmare to have to follow a group of such cute young kids who put on such a great performance. Let's give them another hand. It's a lot easier, Joe, when you did this. <laughs> uh, I would certainly like to uh, echo some of the city manager's comments uh, as far as welcoming everybody. Um, having attended a number of the Beautification Advisory Committee uh, meetings and as close as I am with some of the members, uh, I don't think our community really appreciates the work that the Beautification Advisory Committee along with the Parks and Rec staff put in to keeping Marco Island as beautiful as it is and our richly deserved place as the number one island in the United States. Uh, these folks do a heck of a job. They're untiring in their dedication to the work that they do. And frankly, uh, we can't thank them enough. So uh, I, I would ask, let, let's give a hand to the Beautification Advisory Committee. I'd also like to put in a quick plug on behalf of the VFW uh, for those who haven't seen the announcements. Uh, once again, thanks to their efforts, they are bringing to Marco Island the Vietnam Memorial, the wall that heals, and the American Legion, sorry about that. Uh, and I know you're looking for volunteers, Lee, so I just wanna get that out in the public. Um, they're going to be here. There's a cost involved. It's uh, citizen-based. We're paying for it, not the city. Uh, so I'm sure they could use both your contributions as well as your hands-on as far as assisting the vets uh, who come to give honor to our fallen heroes. And you can get information about that on the city website. I'd like to uh, present this proclamation recognizing Arbor Day in the city of Marco Island. Um, some of this is redundant to Susan Lagrada's remarks, but please bear with me since this is the official proclamation. Uh, in 1872, Jay Sterling Morton proposed to the Nebraska Board of Agriculture that a special day be set aside for the planting of trees. This holiday called Arbor Day was first observed with the planting of more than a million trees in Nebraska and is now observed throughout the nation and the world. Whereas 2015 is the 143rd anniversary of Arbor Day, which has been pr promoted and supported heretofore through the special efforts of the city's beautification advisory committee and whereas trees can reduce the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, cut heating and cooling costs, moderate the temperature, clean the air, produce life-giving oxygen and provide habitat for wildlife and whereas trees in our city can increase property values, enhance the economic vitality of business enterprises, beautify our community, and provide a source of joy and spiritual renewal. And whereas the continual planting, caring for, and maintenance efforts by homeowners, landowners, the forest industry, 
and governmental agencies will ensure that this valuable resource will support future generations of Marco Island citizens. And whereas to commemorate the 143rd anniversary of Arbor Day, the city shall plant golden trumpet tree at Mackle Park. Now therefore be it proclaimed by the city council of the city of Marco Island, Florida, that January 16th of the year 2015 is hereby recognized as the 143rd anniversary of Arbor Day. Further, that all citizens are urged to celebrate Arbor Day, to support efforts to care for our trees and woodlands, and to support our city's beautification landscaping program. Done and ordered this 16th day of January 2015. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Satcher. <laughs> Thank you, that was very lovely. Well done, Marco Island Charter Middle School Jazz Band. I want again to thank everybody that uh, works for Affordable Landscaping for uh, standing here with the tree and the planting, carting it in. I want to thank all, the, all you wonderful people for joining us here today. Everybody who's helped out, everybody who's volunteered. Thank you again, you beautiful singers from Tommy Barfield and you wonderful musicians from the Charter Middle, uh, Marco Island Charter Middle School. Uh, I'd like to invite Mr. Herb Savage. We all know who Mr. Savage is. Could we all please join Mr. Savage and uh, in the song of God Bless America?